<laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna record it from my phone to another thing. Oh no! Okay, let's go. Let's ride. Nigga down was looking like, uh, what you talking? Yeah, I left my lighters in your car. The fuck you talking about? But damn, okay, anchor, 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 anchor. Where you at? Hey, let's go. Hey, We're hey, gonna record hey, our hey. first episode. Hey. Diamond Stone, OG Percy, man, checking in. First episode. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, babe. Okay, so um, so growing up, man, um. Did you ever want to play like play sports? You know what I'm saying? Did you ever have that dream, that passion? Like I want to go to the lead. I want to go to the NFL. Uh uh. Um, um, um. Yes, sir. I, I matter of fact, I, I think I, I was the coldest. I was the coldest, coldest running back and quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Coming up in in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I never got a chance. I always wanted to make it big in sports, but you know right. my mama, she was the type of person that didn't um, do sports. You know we, you know we, we wasn't one of the privileged children that you know, you know, you take the little. Um, application home say, Mom, I want to play football and and you no know, mom if it wasn't for Jesus or God and it wasn't for the church or something, we, we 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 didn't get no action. Right. So um but I was cold at what I did. And and, and um ask me how I know. How, how, how did you know? See the the phone will start ringing like that. They start calling and asking me for shit, you know what I'm saying? And be like, oh you pray you wanna come play ball with us? Yeah. You wanna come play with us over here? You know, everybody want me to come play football with them somewhere. Um I started out playing throw up tackle, man. Throw up tackle, man. That was my first, my first sport that I was calling in. Throw up tackle, man. To let me know I had a running game. Right. Now throw up tackle is something that I know a lot of you niggas don't. You know, y'all probably don't know about. But the square business niggas know what throw up tackle is. Throw up tackle is a sport. You understand me? That you know, you throw the ball up in our neighborhood. Let me explain to all you. You know, you new niggas. I know you new generation don't know nothing about this. Right. But we had a sport in our hood called throw up tackle. And uh, you get your little ball, I don't give a damn what it was. It can be a piece of tin. We were so cold, we'll grab a piece of tin for it and ball it up. Shit, we'll play throw up tackle with a cup. Right. It, it, it has the, but it always would be one of them little bitty ass footballs. The little bitty old blow up football, balloon little football. We used to get the little bitty ones. You know, everything, or tennis ball. You know, anything that you could just throw up, right. grab and run the ball with. And throw up tackles like every man for himself when they grab the ball. You, you catch the ball while it's in the earth, you take it out running to the nearest touchdown. Right. Or which one ever, whichever one the touchdown you no, know, you no know, exists at that time, which that way you're supposed to go. But um, in that sport, it's hard to make a touchdown. Right. In that sport, you can make a touchdown to begin with, but the game, the the the, the, the real game about that is to run it back to the touchdown. Right. Past all them niggas. Now you line to throw the ball up and grab it right there and the touchdown right there and run on in. You got your touchdown. But here when the game get gangster. You have to run the ball back to the touchdown. That's when you the truth. If you can make it past all them niggas that you made it past to get to that first, first touchdown yeah. and make it back, you are the winner. And that was the challenge. That's the challenge, to yeah. make it back to the touchdown. Rarely, rarely, man, rarely, rarely in throw-up tackle history would you see anybody run the ball back. Right. That's yeah. rare. That's rare. Now, it have been some, but we always knew it was those. In my history, yeah. I have ran the ball back three times in the history of throw-up tackle. I have made, I have, yes, sir, yes, sir. I can count. I'm not no star angle. Man, I remember a million more times than that. No, you haven't. You're a lying ass. You can't run by no 20 niggas and score a touchdown every time. Yeah. In my history, I have ran the ball back three times. One time in elementary, uh, one time in middle school at Dunbar. And one time I was in the country um, playing throw-up tackle in Lubbock, Texas. 
Shout out to the hillside, man. I was at the hillside, man. You know, they had Thorpe Tackle Game jumping out there, and I ran the ball back. Three times, and that's years in between. Right. <coughs> Thorpe Tackle is something that you played in school before school start. When, when, when I went down here for work, you know, before school start, everybody be out there playing Thorpe Tackle, trying to show out for the girls before school start. Lunchtime was the major game. You know, they rarely let you play at lunch because... All the teachers didn't want nobody getting hurt after playing tackle. They'll tell you to stop quick. Right. But at the beginning of school was was the gangster time. You know, my mama would always get on my ass when I come home and ask me why my pants legs so green in the knees. Why you got them green stains in your? Why every time you come home you got green stains on your clothes like that? Now you ain't having that much fun at recess. She don't know before school started. You play hey, throw up We playing throw up tackle. Oh, Shit, I be man. dirty before school start. I go to school clean, mama had me nice and dressed up, and as soon as you see the car pull out, I run to the football field, ready to play some throw up tackle. And everybody that was putting up before school, we get us a good game in. Everybody, though. Yeah. Ain't no teachers out there. Teachers in the building getting ready for school to start. You know what I'm saying? It ain't recess, it's the beginning of the school. So she get your little breakfast, head to the goddamn football field, you nigga. Some clock kids in and check in. in musty. Ch huh? Some kids coming in musty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some kids coming to school musty already. Yeah. You hear me? Mm. Throw up tackle was a was a was a game that all the little girls would sit out there and watch it, ooh and ah before school start. You gotta be show up. But that dumb boy, I remember I got my chance to run the ball back. <laughs> You know, and at Dunbar, you know, I was in the middle, I was, about, I was in seventh grade then, and I made me a run back. And at this time, I had half the school out there looking at the football game before school started. And I became, not popular, but just a, a little popular. For some reason, I thought I was going to be able to do that shit again. I was never able to run that motherfucking ball back. But throw up tackle, you know, in my, I'm, I'm going to take y'all down my football career. Let y'all know I was already a pro. I've been, I've been a pro. I've been, I've been, I've been it all in yeah. football. But I just never played for a team. I never played for a team. The second game that I mastered was what was, was goddamn me on um, touch football. Touch football. That's a that's 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 a good game to get your game started. It's this much it's more um uh, orchestrated than motherfucking on um, throw up tackle. You actually on a team in touch. Yeah. But you just gotta touch. You know touch. But not in my neighborhood, nigga. We start off touch, but the game is called sideline kill. For all you youngsters that know a sideline kill, I mean, I know y'all don't know no more youngsters because y'all don't you know y'all too busy stepping and shit. But at this time, we had a game back in them days called sideline kill. But it started off as touch. No, the game is touch football. You pick your squad, and then you yell, we playing sideline kill. And everybody oh yeah, yeah. You know, everybody wants to play sideline kill. That means. You can play touch in the street. You got to touch them in the street. But if they, they run on that sideline, you can punish them. Oh, I'm well. telling you, you put your best hit down that you can find. This is your time to shine, to catch a nigga on the sideline. Yeah. So, and, and guess what? I became a sideline killer. I'm telling you, I was a pro. I would hit the big. God knows, man. I hit the big. I was a little nigga, but I would catch the big niggas on that sideline because I would punish them. I would, I, would, I would see the big niggas, how they would do niggas on the sideline. I figure, oh, that's what you do when you catch them on the sideline. Shit. Nigga, I catch them on that sideline, and I act like I'm just as big as they is. And they be mad as a motherfucker at me. Because they don't expect a hit like that to come from little person. Mm -hmm. Little person, he, he a little run on the team. But soon they hit that sideline, I'll never forget. I showed that for my quarterback. Shout out to Crocus, man. Big Croak, man. We call him Croak. He was older than us. OG on the block. He always wanted to play quarterback. But something about Crocus, Croak would put that key in your back. He would tell you, you know, say, man, oh, hey, I'm pitch him to the sideline. You take his head off. Yeah. Take his head off, little purse. Little purse. He said, you call me a head hunter. He said, that nigga going, you get on that sideline. And I look at Croak, be like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I had, and I had that key in my back. That nigga had me tuned up thinking I would be like the big boys. And one time he sent that big nigga named Keith Wilson. R.I.P. to Big Keith, man. <laughs> Big Keith, he gone now, man. Yeah. But Keith Wilson was a big nigga. And he sent Keith to the sideline and set him up. Mm. After he told me he going to send him to the sideline, he told me to take his head off. He was a quarterback. He waited until Keith got to that sideline. He shot that ball to him. He loafed it in the air. So when it's so high, when Keith had to go up there and go get the ball. And so when Keith went up there and get the ball on that sideline, I cut on his legs. And I, and I swept his ass. 
And Keith came down and hit that ground. He jumped up and looked at me, he had tears in his eyes. He was like, oh, he wanted to fight, but no big crow. Crow was about your size. He was a quarterback. Yeah. We were just little kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was just after, yeah. He wasn't going to let none of that. He said, come on, just try it again. Try it again. And he didn't know that Crow was setting him up. Crow tell me, Crow was the quarterback. He don't supposed to tell me where he going with the ball. Crow be like, I'm going to send him your way again. Take his head off. <laughs> Take his head off. Set, setting him up. Set every time. Yeah. Crow love me. Crow like to see me work. He like that way. He said, I like, boy, I love to see you. You put that hit down, person. And he said, shit. And he'll tell him, I want to see you take one of your head off today. I'm going to sit And he'll sit there and tell me when he's going to send him to the sideline. For, for me, he said, you ready? I'm saying, I'm going to send him your way. I'm going to send him your way. Bam, he'll pitch it out to him. Wait till he gets to the sideline. By the time he touched the head on the sideline, I'm there. Bam. Ooh, he be a little person. Little per and I was cold at it. I was cold at it, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought I was a star. Yeah. Throw up tackle, sideline, kill. That, that's the truth. That's the truth, man. Then we moved on, man, to the neighborhood football games as kids, man. Every neighborhood, which I was, I wish they would bring this back, Diamond. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think it would be more structured in the neighborhood. Now, we know they got Pee Wee League football team. We know that. It's Pee Wee League, that's for the children. Uh. But in my neighborhood, we had hood games. Shout out to Little John Block. You know, I grew up on 4200 Burton Street. That's, that's right there where y'all were on the, mill, on the corner of Miller and Berry. Right now, y'all see it's the gas station of Fiesta. You know, I was adapted to the Little John Block in 96. Yeah. I took, yeah, I was in, yeah. And, um, we used to have games with Little John. Little John was our rival. Fix you street. We used to play streets back then, not neighborhoods. Every street was for they sell. Every street had their own football team. Every street had about like nine, ten boys stayed on that whole street and they would get together and we would play football. Right. You understand me? Shout out to my R.I.P. to my nigga 40, Lord. Lord had his own team over there. Um, off of Forbes Street. You had Fix You, which, which was the Hernandez boys. Shout out to the Hernandez boys. John, which is Shug, Shug, 103, Carlos Shug and yeah. Carlos and them. That's they brothers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you had Carlos, John Hernandez. Um, Ricky, Big Rick, Big Ricky Fulbright, they had some big hard hitters, big poor, all them niggas played for, um, over there with Sugar and them on Sugar and them street. That was Fix You Street. Uh, Little John was always organized with the football because they was in the football. They knew we was, you know, um, basic football players because we didn't play peewee, so we didn't know football like they knew football. So we would play them and them niggas would do shit like punt the ball. Nigga, we don't do no punt, nigga. <laughs> These niggas, y'all just, y'all into it. What is that? When y'all seen them put the ball, what was y'all thinking? The fuck is they doing? Yeah. They knew football, we didn't. Yeah. They knew on the fourth. football. Yeah, we just know sideline, throw up tackle, sideline kill. Now we playing by the rule. We got to get in the rule. About these niggas punting the ball, we looking like, what y'all doing, man? Why y'all keep? Y'all need somebody back there to catch the ball. We kicking on third, on fourth down. Oh, God damn. But in them games, man, it would be some punishment. It be some good football hitting, man. And one thing about the Demerson boys, you can ask all the niggas that we played. Them Demerson boys was always the smallest niggas out there playing, but the hardest niggas playing. Yeah. You hear me? <laughs> the smallest out there playing. We would do shit like when the ball go over our head, we'd dive and catch the shit. Yeah. The little niggas, the shit that the older niggas, we're like, God damn, the nigga caught that hoe. Yeah. We, yeah, we was young. We were young, athletic. And, and full of excitement, man, talking, do anything to score. Yeah. Do anything to talk. And boy, and we could run. They knew what, that you ready, person? Giving person the ball. Y'all seen me run. Just imagine when I was a kid. <sighs> I know. Well, Big fast. Yeah, dude. yeah. Yeah, you your son. Yeah, look at him, boy. My I, son ran into your son at the football game. Oh, they fight. And he was about to score. The, the, yeah. But guess who stopped him? Yeah, little person. Little the Demerson boy. The Demerson boy. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to my baby, Price Demerson, no man. Shout out to Chris Adams, man. Keisha Adams, man. You know, they, they um, father and they mother, man, right out there that's taking care of. Little Price, man. Yeah, yeah man. Y'all go take him out on cold, TCU man. Football League right now. He is the truth right man. now. You know, my legacy lives on through him when it comes to football. But this time, he doing it the right way. He started in Pee Wee and he headed on. He headed, and y'all can look him up. Spicy. They call him Spicy Price Demerson, man. YouTube that man, TCU football league. He the truth. And uh, I used to be cold, man. I used right. to run that shit out there football. Uh, we played the Hernandez boys. Shit, uh, we played Lord and them team, but then we moved on up to the neighbor. To, 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 I went to 
Trimble Tech. The only time I ever suited up was at the Trimble Tech gray and white, green and white game. I made it all the way to Oz, the green and white game. Everybody at Trimble Tech High School know what the green and white game if you play football. I made, I showed out in the green and white game. I got an interception and ran a touchdown. Yeah. I was the cornerback. I was the little cornerback in the green and white game. Shout out to Coach Wild. Coach Wild was our coach, man. Back then, it was hard to play for Trimble Tech. Trimble Tech was a 5A team, and we won state. We would take, we, the only thing that would stop us every year was Midland Lee Bulldogs or, or Odessa Permian. You know, Odessa Permian or Midland Lee, and them, them, them Cowboys down there, they didn't play. They, they're stomping not in anybody. There. They was champs for years. Yeah. They was champs for years. Shout out to them Lee, Lee Rebels and them Midland Bulldogs, man. And Odessa Permian. Matter of fact, there's a movie out on Odessa Permian right now. It's a movie out for Odessa Permian High School, man. They football league was so cold. And, and Trimble Tech used to have to play them and run into them every year. We couldn't beat Odessa or the Midland Lee Rebels, man. Them, that was the football team to beat every fucking year, 5A football. Uh, I played for Triple Tech, man, the green and white game. Then I went to Estacada High School for a semester, man, down there in Lubbock, Texas. I got, Estacada High School used to be the coldest football team in Lubbock. They was going to state, winning championships, and I played for the for – now, now, two niggas laugh at me. Yeah. I played for the, for the white team. You got the blue and the white – the gray team. I played this group, the blue – I played for the gray team. And, and I'm just uh, – it's the B team. You know, we didn't have games. On Fridays, yeah, I shit was on Wednesdays. But they used to call me Mad Max. I'm the only. I was a little nigga, so they didn't have a football helmet that hit to fit me with the good face mask. You know, I wanted a good face mask. Yeah, they gave me the buttercup. For y'all don't know what the buttercup is. This the helmet just with the one bar coming across here and the one bar going down. And everybody used to laugh at me. And it said Max Pro on the top. A Max Pro football helmet. Um, in the shoe world. Mm -mm, that would be a pro wing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Compared to a Jordan. <laughs> Shit. These niggas got on Jordan helmets. I got on a pro wing, which is a Max Pro helmet. That's the cheapest helmet. A track. Well, you make it sound a little cheaper. Track. Track tennis shoe. Yeah. I got on a fucking track helmet. But guess what, damn? Right. I used to put more work in on that helmet than them niggas with them goddamn me Tony Dorsett masks. Yeah. Yeah, them them um them um, them Emmy Smith masks y'all got on and them Danny White masks, face masks, the good face masks back then, you know, the good round the new shit. And I still got this big old gray ass handlebar coming down the front of my face mask. And niggas laughed at me. Until the first nigga caught that ball and I showed him what I can do with that Max Pro helmet. Yeah. And I and the coach said, God damn, who was that? They said that's the little man Demerson out there. He playing for the why is he on the gray team? He need to be on the blue team hitting like that. I'm hitting hard. I grew up throw up tackle. I grew up sideline kill. Yeah. I grew up neighborhood for about now I get to go to school and put on a suit. Put on a suit. See, I didn't grow up in the Pee Wee with everybody else, Pee Wee League, Super Pee Wee, the um, uh, no super seniors and shit like that. I didn't get that, I didn't make it through. Yeah. But I did play some ball. And um, I remember one day I was showing out in practice. Showing out in practice, boy, I was sure happy. They started calling me Mad Max. Like the movie was out at that time. It was yeah. a movie called Mad Max back then. And since I had the Max Pro helmet on, the players start saying, that's Mad Max. Mad Max, he put that helmet on. I'm going to put it on you. I'll hit hard. And, um, I was in practice one day trying to show out for the coaches. The blue team. We were scrimmaging in the blue team. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to try to make the blue team one. And I remember they ran this nigga to the sideline. Right. He said, run him Nemerson way. You know, he's a little man. See what he got over there. And he ran that football player my way, and I never forget. I said, God damn, I ran straight to him, and I popped him. Bah! I hit him with a bad motherfucker. The coach said, they, they were looking. He said, run that back there again. Run it back. And run it to him again. Yeah. I never forget. The coach said, run it to him again. He ran it to me again. And I never forget. I went into that nigga, and I hit, I hit his ankles. I cut him low. I cut him low, I cut him below his knees. I told him he was a bad motherfucker, you hear me? Mm. And that coach said, hey, get over here! Get over here! You know, I'm running like hell, yeah. I know everybody like, ooh! He took the helmet off of me, he said, hey, you run me, run me three laps. That's your fucking team player, you don't hit him like that. You can hurt somebody out here like that. Well, goddamn, I thought this, football run, I thought I did something. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, but he said I was a team member. 
God damn it, and I can hurt him at practice like hit him like that. You don't hit your team member like that. Yeah. Well, hell, I ain't never known how you supposed to hit a nigga the weak way. Yeah. I was doing what I could do to take him down, but the coach got on my ass. Football was the shit, man. After that, uh, that was it in school football. That was it, man. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get a career in school football. Shit, I got kicked out and fucked up in school, and people put me out. But then, you know, there's always something, like a little life after death. We had a neighborhood football team. Shout out to Bells Out Terrace, man. Neighborhood crib gang. Yeah. No, this the next team that I had a chance to shine for. Now, now I can go back to my old ways. I, got, I ain't got me a little career built. You know, I got a little experience no. in here. Trimble Tech, Estacada, Estacada Matadors. Uh, she throw up tackle and, and some motherfucking uh, flag football and some motherfucking sideline kill. I got a lot of experience. Now it's time to goddamn go to the neighborhood. Shout out to my nigga Blue, my nigga Lala, my nigga AT, my nigga Jimmy Wu, shit, my nigga Kevin Spencer. You yeah. understand me? My nigga uh, David Wayne. Yeah, uh, these niggas that was on, my nigga Pusshead, my nigga, yeah, Big Curtis Ryan. Shout out to them niggas. Shout out to uh, R.I.P. Peter George. You know what I'm saying? And then we had some good football players on the neighborhood. Uh, shout out to uh, 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 who was that, Mac Henry? Shout out to Mac Henry. Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, goddamn me. Uh, uh, damn, I gotta remember all them niggas on the motherfucking team. Uh, BB. Shout out to BB. Shout out to uh, uh, Ra. Shout out to Ra Ra. Shout out to BB. You know what I'm saying? That was the neighborhood football team, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I played for the neighborhood. Shout out to my little brother Super Dave Dims. You understand know me? He took us a long way. You understand know me? Uh, In the neighborhood football. Neighborhood football, man. Killing it. Uh, when I say. A neighborhood that we were so good, we didn't have nothing but the jerseys. Yeah. My boy went and ordered out. Went and ordered all jerseys. He would order all jerseys. Yeah, man. Uh. And he, he went and got all jerseys, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. When right. I got my jersey, I felt like I was special. Yeah. yeah. And they told us, "Come get your jersey." Yeah. Come get our jersey. They said, "Yeah, come get your jersey, man." My my number was twenty. My number was twenty two, man. I Me mean, twenty one. Yeah. My number was twenty one back then. Uh. Yeah, I got there and I seen the jersey. We had some clean, you know, some, some clean blue jerseys, man. Some crip blue jerseys, man, with our number on there, man. So I felt like, say, man. <laughs> I felt like we playing for the neighborhood. And I'm like, man, who we playing? Who we playing? They say our first game, we're going to go play Echo Heights. Echo Heights. We play Echo Heights at ODY. R.I.P. to Big E, man. Big E was y'all weapon. Shout out to Derrick Daniels. Uh, he ended up being the coach at, um, Triple T. Derrick Daniels played for the Houston Cougars, man. Derrick Daniels took Dunbar to the championship every year that he played. Shout out to Derrick Daniels, man. You remember OG Percy? You remember Percy went to school there since Dunbar, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, all the way up, and you was the coldest basketball player then. The coldest thing on the basketball squad. Uh, Derrick Daniels, he, I, 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 you know, I didn't know nothing about the, the positions, but he was a shooter. He had the nicest jumper. When he go up and hit it, he would post like this. This is how he see my lady. He would. That was his shot. And he had the prettiest shot. Derrick Daniels had the prettiest shot. That shot took him all the way to Houston Cougars. When I seen you playing on TV for the first time, you no, know, I felt, especially like I knew somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That go Derrick Daniels. That, that, that was the school with Derrick Daniels. And now see him go up and, and pull him. Whoop. He played for the Houston Cougars, man. Uh, he ended up coming back being a, being a tech at Trimble Tech. I think he went over to coaching them. They had a cold basketball league, Derrick Daniels, man. But he he was the he was the Echo Hawks quarterback. Right. He quarterback for them in, in Echo Heights back then. You understand me? And Big E was they runner. They had some good talent over there. And we played them yeah. and we smoked them. The day we won our first game, went out there and we was cold. We were like, God dang. So I guess you know this was not the internet. We didn't have the internet that back then, and everybody started hearing about the game. So our next game was the North Side. Shout out to that nigga Gator. We played Northside. Played all them niggas on the Northside. Northside got they shit together. All them niggas that had the club nighty night. Right. You know, they, they um, did their own club nighty night. They stayed on the Northside. R.I.P. to Little Rod, man. Little Rod was one of the dope champs over there on the Northside. But um, played some trade niggas and four trade Northside niggas. And they showed up deep. They showed up deep. We played them on the other side of ODY. Uh. And Gator and them, y'all had some good players over there. Gator was the truth. Free the homie Gator. If I don't know if he home yet or not, but uh, Big Gator. Gator was the man. Gator's the first nigga that had a nice motorcycle squad down here. 
Gator had that nut, they had put that motorcycle team together, and Gator was the truth. Yeah. He caught him some time, and uh, last time I checked, he was doing his time. So uh, I don't know if Gator had made it home or not. But um, they had a nice squad over the north side. Then after we popped them, which we did, on that north side, the biggest game that ever hit Fort Worth, Texas, in football. No, no, I ain't going to say that because we got another game to go after this. Well, the first biggest game that ever hit Fort Worth, Texas, in football was Butler Housing versus the neighborhood. <laughs> Butler Housing Projects versus the neighborhood. And so we had to make a new to ground. We decided, where are we going to play them at? Well, shit. Then they said, we're going to play at Booker T. Washington. I'm like, where the fuck is that? They said, right there in the neighborhood. The school that's in the neighborhood right there. Yeah. You know, it was boarded up. It wasn't built or nothing. It, it, was, it was a boarded up school at that time. But they had an old football field there. And I was like, hell no. Nah, nigga, that, that field got rocks and glass and all type of shit on it. It was a, you know, we had to, we had to um, parade the campus before we could even play. We went out there. That ground was hard. Nigga, I'm used to playing at TCU. So when you're laying, you can hit some grass or something. You go out there and play at this motherfucker out here at, 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 uh, at Butler Housing. Niggas like playing on hard dirt. Right. No grass. You got a little grass patches here and there. But they still got the gold lines up. Because this motherfucking field been abandoned for years, centuries. Um, so we agreed to go and go down there and play them. So everybody saying, who all going to go play? Said, let's go. We all passed it up. And the neighborhood football team went to Butler Housing, man. Shout out to my nigga, Blue. OG Perch, you know, VIP players. David Demerson, which yeah. is my brother, runner back, a hell of a runner back. You know, um, when you down there playing project niggas, they hit just as hard as you do. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't no, we tougher than y'all down there. Yeah, yeah. And it seemed like the, the, the good part about it, when, when Butler Housing, this is what I love about it, when Butler Housing came together and they said it was a football game being played by the neighborhood down there, it seemed like, Roaches coming out of nowhere. Ants like you just undug an ant bed. And everybody and their mama was coming. They was coming down that hill to the football field. I was like, damn. Look at yeah. it. They kept coming, kept coming in crowds and crowds. Shout out to Gator Game, man. Shout out to Gator Game, man. Butler has and Gator Game, man. Shout out to them Gator Head boys. Uh, J Lo. Shout out to y'all niggas down there in the Butlers, man. Yeah, uh, Trilly Montana, man. Shout out to Trilly Montana, man. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, Damn, I better not forget this nigga name, but if I do, I, Slim. Shout out to Skinny, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Skinny. Shout out to Skinny, man. Skinny Luciano, man. Shout out to Skinny Luch, man, down there in the Butler House, man. Um, uh, R.I.P. to the Butlers. They gone now, but um, we went down and we played them cats, man. The VIP players was, like I said, was David Demerson, which is my little brother. Uh, he ran fullback. Kevin Spencer, he ran tailback. Uh, as usual, uh. Mac Henry, he tried, he, you know, he went in for quarterback on that game. Uh, me and Blue, we played, we played, you know, we played the front line and we played receivers. But me and Blue was known for the defense. I was a nigga every time they said hike, nigga, the quarterback had, had three seconds to get the ball off. Yeah, that's how fast we was on there. I was, I was young, I was big, and I was fast. Blue. Me and Blue was the same way me and him had just did time. Yeah. Man, me, me, matter of fact, me and Blue had just came off Lindsay unit together. Shout out to my nigga Blue. Blue, you hit Lindsay before I left, man. Lala was there when I got there from the neighborhood. Uh, and me and Blue, we would put that hit down. So I remember one play on. They had a kick out. You know, it's the throw off, but we throw, we throw the ball off to him. And the nigga did, he hung he, that ball in the air, and that nigga was waiting on it. And he's grown man. So oh, we grown. We grown hitting. We hit, we hit, and we hit. We in our prime. Everybody in their prime. Everything nice. Everything after on their side and our side. Ain't no ain't no weak link nowhere. Good game. No 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 helmet. No shoulder pad. Nigga, uh, nigga, wear you some knee pads or throw your elbow pad on or something. Other than that, and you a mouthpiece, nigga. <laughs> and you a mouthpiece. Yeah. Other than that, say man, it's um rugby out here. Yeah. It's rugby, man, in the American football style. You dig what I'm saying? Ain't doing no playing. And the hidden is <laughs> Say, man, the hitting is devastating. You can hear the hits getting. We put a nigga on the sideline during that game. I think me and Blue buried a nigga on the sideline. We <laughs> buried him. And, and it was like a train wreck. I mean, the nigga was going so goddamn fast. And boom. And we slid that nigga all the way over there to where the cups and the, 
and the ice and all that shit was it. Yeah. Yeah, nigga had set up cup stands and ice and now we slid that nigga all the way over to that motherfucking cup stand past the track. You hear me? Hit that nigga where he went over that together. Yeah. We were hitting hard after that day, man. And uh We almost had one slight incident where niggas got face to face, you know, when they're talking that gangster shit, but during a kickoff, I remember they threw a bad motherfucker in the air and uh it was up to us to recover, you know, the nigga that get the ball and, and blue. Soon as that ball touched his hand, blue walked over this nigga. I'm talking about as soon as he touched him, blue didn't tackle him or nothing. He threw that forearm up, hit that nigga up under his chin, downed him, and walked over him, stepped over him like that. And the whole crowd went crazy. Man, I want to do that to somebody so bad. <laughs> that was pretty. That was the baddest hit I ever spoiled. I mean, he would wait, as soon as the ball touched his hand, Blue nailed him with a bad motherfucker. Boom! Right up under his chin. Nigga knocked the nigga over and stepped over him. And made it look so motherfucking pretty and was like, God damn it. Yeah! Nigga, I said, woo! Sideline went crazy, man. Uh, football was the truth, man. We, we, had, we, we had some hell of a games, man. Then after that, man, time went by. And uh, I remember about like a couple years ago, I said, you know what? I want to get me a game in. And niggas start saying, nah, man, I'm too old for that shit, man. Oh, nigga, nigga, we didn't. We, everybody slowed down. You know, the fishbowl came. So y'all know what happened to the neighborhood. <sighs> uh, fishbowl came. Shit, niggas, niggas was getting lost. Not in game banging too much at that time because that was something that slowed game banging down. Yeah. It slowed game banging down a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, every game we went had, we never had a casualty. There was never a casualty at that game. There was never on, um, they gonna be shooting up there, or oh, we ain't going to this shit, there's gonna be a death hole. Niggas was coming by the dirty dozen. <coughs> I believe if we put something together in 2021 and everybody, you know, all you tough guys wanna suit up and boot up one time, I think Diamond Stone TV and OG Press can host a football game. Yeah. We don't know what it'll be called. But um, the next time I moved on to football, I put together a game. You won't believe I put together a Crip versus Blood game. Y'all remember that? Four word text? I bet the niggas that played in the game remember. I never forget. Tales from a Crip. OG person made some flies and I called out stop six. And so we were trying to come up with a neutral play to play, place to play at. And we really couldn't come up with neutral ground. And time was running out. And uh, Crip niggas was like, it was too dangerous, person, man. Them niggas gonna be on. And, and Blood niggas was like, they, it was iffy. Yeah, that's a, that's a dangerous it, it was dangerous. And the cold part about it, we couldn't come up with no neutral ground. And the day came for the game, and them niggas was talking shit. So we said, fuck it, where can we play at then, niggas? Oh, y'all gonna wait for us to wait this time? Y'all ain't gonna play already? We ready. Stop Six was ready. Stop Six was motherfucking ready. They were motherfucking, they heard about all the games and all the games. Were. Stop Six was ready. Right. I can't lie, Sass, I mean, you no, know, my team wasn't ready. Right. Yeah, my team wasn't ready, but, um. Right. Make a long story short, um. Uh, I heard one of the niggas, shout out to 2-1, man. Shout out to 2-1, 2 a.m. That's what y'all call them, 2 a.m. Uh. Big old stocky nigga been running that ball for dumb boy for years, man. Uh, man, 2 a.m. They call him 2 a.m. Man, shout out to that nigga, man. Y'all, 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 everybody know who 2 a.m. is. Real nigga, man. Uh, real nigga, man. Real square business nigga. Yeah, uh. And 2 a.m., uh, he put together. He like, man, what y'all gonna do? You know, he talk a lot. Of, you know, he talk that gangster talk. But he was talking to me. And we had dumb boy. Then we over and we go to dumb boy. Nigga, ain't about me go to no motherfucking dumb boy, nigga. Right. Shit, nigga, that's y'all feel, nigga. That, that's not that's not neutral ground. Cuz, what's up, what's up, cuz? Nigga, it don't matter to me. Shit, let's go. Cuz, cause y'all shoot, we ain't coming over there for no bullshit. But we'll come. We'll bring what we can. Then got off the phone, let's go to dumb boy and play, y'all. And I'm not gonna lie, some crypt nigga said, fuck that shit. Nah. We ain't gonna do it. The square business nigga said, fuck it, nigga. Let's go play some ball. Let's go play some motherfucking ball. Shout out to Jared, man. Shout out to Pusshead, man. Shout out to Super Motherfucking Dave, man. My little brother, man. And shout out to all them niggas that said, fuck it, let's jump the gate and go to Dumb Boy. 
So you just couldn't walk on Dunball Field back then. You had to jump over the gate. You dig what I'm saying? And we passed by there and we seen them niggas. I said, yep, the niggas just, at her. I just passed by, just see what yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, we passed by first time and we seen them out there. We rolled around, sucked that bitch. And then we rolled back around and we parked over there by the, by the apartments in the back part by the apartments. And we parked on, parked on that back street in the line. We were seven cars deep. We started jumping that gate, nigga. Let's play some ball, niggas. Y'all remember that? That's what I thought, Crunk. Crunk and I started seeing them niggas clapping like, yeah, nigga, let's do it. Everybody walked up, shook each other's hand, greeted. Crips on bloods, nigga. Now I'm real Crips, nigga. Yeah. Real Crips, not that bullshit, nigga. Yeah, nigga. And some real bloods, nigga. Here y'all niggas talking to you about, nigga. We showed up to Dunbar. And we played our hand. We played our game. Uh, 2 a.m. got hurt. I think he twisted his ankle. That was y'all running back. You know, I think he twisted his ankle on that game. Now, now this is going to be the first time y'all going to ever judge Percy on, on Tales from on, on, on Diamond Stone TV. Right. This is going to be the <laughs> first time y'all have to, I'm going to have to take an L for my memory. And, and this L I'm going to take is going to hurt y'all more than it hurt me. I can't remember who won that game. So many touchdowns being scored. I mean, we playing some ball. It was some hidden. Um, we did have one occasion on the game part. Um, during the game, um, we was over there, you know, the crowd, the bleachers started filling up. And then during the game, I turned around and I, said, I heard somebody say, come on, cuz, I didn't come out here for this shit. And I turned around and I looked what was going on, and I seen the blood niggas walking on the field. I'm like, God damn. I said, oh, girl, here y'all come with this bullshit. In the blood, the niggas, they were like, and they wanted one of my partners that was on the field. They wanted my nigga Jared here. They wanted Jared, man. Y'all look Jared up. Jared, one of the coldest running backs that went to Dunbar. Whew! Fire. Shout out to my nigga Navelle, man. We call him Blue Bell. Navelle, man. Another one, Saint, yeah, Saint, Saint something. Saint Bazaar song. I can't say your name. Your last name, but Narvell, man, one of the coldest quarterbacks that took Dunbar all the way to the finals. Uh, and and, and uh, Jared, one of the coldest running backs, man. Yeah, we had Jared on the field playing with us. And, uh, the blood niggas wasn't going to let Jared make it. They, yeah. didn't want, they, want, they wanted Jared ass for some reason. Yeah. But, you know, when you come out there and you agree, man, say that ain't what we came out here for, slippers count too. Niggas, slippers count too, man. And, and, and that time we trusted, you know, we made a move to trust these niggas that, you know, hey, man, y'all take care of it. And I, I started snapping. You know, my, my attitude started getting bad because I seen that, you know, because when nobody making no move to, to, to kill the situation. So I told the blood niggas, you know, straight up, look at cuz, look at home, but we ain't come out here for all that shit. What's up with this, nigga? What's up with all this, man? Come on, man. Then, then they like me, okay, man. Yeah, yeah, man, we ain't come out with this. Game over? It's the game over or what? Shit, nigga, let's get to our cars or something. Let's, can we... What's up? Game over. That's how y'all get now. Uh, oh, per Percy, Percy, chill, man. Chill now, man. Y'all going on. And them blood niggas did the right thing. They did the right thing. They tell them blood niggas to leave. Now, don't come out here with that, man. Don't do that shit. While, come on, man. Yeah. And I heard them. And they were saying it with the, with the force and the strength in their voice to make their crowd of youngsters bag up. And they was coming on that field to take care of their business, nigga. They weren't coming on that field to do no motherfucking talk. I seen it in their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that was that was been a cold game. Yeah. But through it all, God let everybody walk away, game play, uh, handshakes, and can we leave now? We're in y'all neighborhood and everything was, was told was gonna be safe. And we and we and we and we let it and they let they let us make it. We left. That was a good ass game. But the Crips and Bloods played that is sponsored by OG person, the first game ever put together the Crip and Blood, and I put together <laughs> And I did the We All One to bring peace to the net. I've been doing this. I've been doing it. I've been doing this. I've been doing the try to bring. That was years ago. Right. And um, the next rival I had in football, I'm getting down to my last two games, y'all. It's going to be my last two games. Uh, I was getting old. I was on Little John. I came through Little John one time. Them niggas was looking like that. You know, they didn't grow up over there. And, and everything got big and shit. Yeah, Little John. Y'all niggas know y'all finna get it. And I told them, young niggas, nigga, y'all young niggas, I ain't like we was, nigga, we used to play football. But I knew everything on Little John had went through the TCU program. Right. Shout out to TCU. All them young niggas on Little John has played for the TCU program. 
They grew up in Pee Wee, um, juniors, seniors, super seniors. These niggas was cold with that ball. They was cold with the rock when we playing their daddy them and shit. And um, I tell the young niggas one day, y'all young niggas ain't like we were. We used to play that football, nigga. Uh, nigga, 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 we play football too. I said, nigga, we, we'll tear y'all young niggas ass up. That young nigga, little shot, little Rashad. And I got the pictures to prove. I still got them pictures, man. And uh, little Rashad, uh, 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 OG Press, you ain't talking about nothing. What's up? Well, let's have a turkey bowl, nigga. We can meet on Thanksgiving and have a turkey bowl. And them young niggas agreed. Uh, right before everybody got to eat, we're going to meet at the field. Where we going? We going to Dunbar. Dunbar had got them some turf put out there. So shit, nigga had some good landing. And we went to go play the young niggas. The young niggas versus the old niggas on Little John Street. On our same block, the young niggas, the students had became the teachers, they thought. They thought the students had became the teachers, that they were going, oh, man, you know, person then washed up and everybody still had one more game. My age bracket, everybody still had that one more game in them. Yeah. Wasn't nobody woe out, wasn't nobody too. Now nah, they had that Super Dave, runner back, star, you know, the star runner back, you know. Yeah. Now he been a, shout out to my little brother Super Dave, he been a star runner while I keep him calling him the star runner back. He the first nigga that ever played for Polly High School. Polly ain't never went nowhere in nothing yeah. in football. My brother Super Dave, Bulldog Boy, and Charles Humphrey took them boys all the way. And shout out to Mark. Mark, R.I.P. to Marcus, man. Marcus that got killed. Uh, took him all the way to the finals. Polly, first time ever going anywhere in football. You know, Polly is only known for band. Y'all only know for your band squad, the Marching 100, Polly Marching 100. Yep. That's the only thing they was known for back then. Football, they lose every motherfucking game. Yeah. Them niggas ain't won a homecoming in, in centuries. That's what Polly was known for. I'm sorry, Polly. Hell, I'm just telling you like it is. But y'all always had the coldest drum line to ever in, 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 in Fort Worth County, Fort Worth, Texas. Matter of fact, in, 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 in the district, y'all always had the coldest band. Shout out to Mr. Moody, man. R.I.P. to Mr. Moody if he did. But shout out to Mr. Moody. He was the band director over there at Poly way back then. I ain't never went to Poly, but I, you know, I just know my history. And um, we went and played them young niggas, man. Right. And so I said, Dave, you know, we gonna test them out. I was the quarterback. We finna run over these young niggas motherfucking ass. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, nigga. Y'all young niggas. And, they was at, and I looked at the young niggas. They run their squad and everybody. What fucked me up? All them young niggas had on some kind of jersey of, of, a, of a team but that they played for. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at this. I said, all, all you niggas suited up. Everybody had their little jersey of teams that they played for. It fucked me up. And them niggas had on college jerseys. With their names on the back. Some big niggas. They came to play some ball. I said, young niggas. But all of them was off Little John. That was the squad. Yeah. That was the young squad. And we had our old squad. Fuck it. You ready, Dave? Let's run these niggas ass over, cuz. First ball going Super Dave Dempsey, nigga. God damn, we finna run these niggas. Ready? Set. Hit. And I, up. Uh, and Dave come up that middle and them niggas said, Blah. I said, what the fuck about damn? Oh, you must trip. He must trip. They hit him. Yeah. He had got, they got them a little towel, nigga. I ain't shit in the super. Nah, them niggas shit. Nigga, I ain't come out there. Let's run. Nigga, run that back, bitch back. Run that back. Run that back. That wasn't nothing. Then we're gonna run. Two, you ready? We're gonna run these, run these little niggas ass over. Nigga, shout y'all niggas ain't ready. Uh, Jamal, uh, Deontay, all y'all niggas finna run over you. Little Mike, little, little Larry, little Corey, little Pat. Yeah, we're gonna run. Said, huh? Boom. And I shot that bitch back today. He went up the middle and them young niggas. Boom, 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 boom. I said, God damn. Oh, yeah. Right then, I knew. <laughs> yeah. We got a game on our hands, y'all. Them niggas didn't stop that nigga twice. Oh, we and them niggas was hidden. Oh yeah. Them young niggas say we when we thought we had us a shit. I gotta give you niggas on little y'all did that. Y'all made the old niggas out of believers. And them niggas was running short. I love the way you run that ball short. We were punishing you though. Putting that pop down on you. <laughs> We put that pot shot was the little nigga, but he ran like he was a goddamn real. Then they come up that field and would run, would run. That's how you, he, he never had a, 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 a stutter or nothing. All his shit was just straight. I'm talking about break. Yeah. Get you out that hand. You got, when you hit him, you got to, you either hit him right or you get ran over. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's what Shaw was. And he never slacked on running that ball like that. Jamal. 
When Jamal touched the ball, it was over. Deontay, brother, made it all the way to college. My sons, I didn't raise Jamal and Deontay. These niggas are ice water. Yeah. They running. We having to hit these young niggas. Shit, let me tell you something. I ain't never had to hate it to hit a nigga. I hated to hit them niggas. Them niggas was something to hit. You had to have, you had to have something when you hit them. You had to hit them right. Or they were one them niggas, it was wrong. Or them niggas will bounce, you'll bounce, them niggas will make you miss and everything. They had all the little tricks and shit, the new shit. The new shit, the, the they, finesse. They came away a long way from the Max Pro football him. Yeah. These niggas' moves were different. They make you move like they shaking the rock in the NBA, like they N1 material. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, they got moves. You run out there and dive at them like you dive and hit your motherfucking head on something. Them niggas so fast and swift. Legs running, goddamn it. No, no one of you niggas both be in college somewhere. Shit, them niggas was running at the table, them niggas would turn our ass up, and I'll never forget. It was a tie game, and it was time to eat. It was turkey bowl day. And them niggas said, I know a little gentleman, it's gonna hurt y'all. It's gonna hurt y'all more than it hurt me right now. The next touchdown wins. Whoever scored the next touchdown wins. Uh. Can, can we do it like that? And we, we agreed. So the team that had the ball in, yeah. if they scored, they would have to give us action. It's going back. It's because the next next touchdown win. That was the only agreement. Uh. But if y'all don't score and we score. Yeah, that's game. The game is over. Well, we had our end of the bargain. We fought hard. Deontay, you almost got us. He was at the 10. We stopped him. and We stopped him there. They never got nothing. Then I hit a play. Super Day finally. Came out the shed. Come on, David. God damn it, next touchdown we need it, nigga. Say it, go. Huh. Oh, wait, what, what yard line was it? Oh, we was, man, we was doing bad. Man, we started by like 830. Yeah. At, at, at our 30. Way, we way, at the 30, we way down here. You understand? Because they made some plays, but we stopped them. So we had to move on up the field a little bit. And we were way behind until Super Day got a nice break. And um, one of them young niggas hunted them down. Just when I thought the legs was... Was untouched. One of them young niggas hunted him down and stopped Super Day. But he was gone. But he, he ended up getting hunted down. Them young niggas out there was rabbits. Niggas had, niggas had lightning speed out there. Nice leagues. You know. We got down to the third. Third down, you know. Shit. It was almost so. We got stopped. We got one more play. And these young niggas hype. Man, I ain't gonna lie. That last drive took the win out of everybody on the squad. Shit, we even had some niggas go get on the sideline before the game was over. Damn. Nigga, y'all ain't gonna fight us tied up. <laughs> man. <sighs> come on, man. Well, come, come on. The sideline nigga that's been waiting. Come on. Get in here, nigga. Sorry about that sideline. Y'all know who you is. I ain't gonna put you on black. Yeah. But we got niggas over there been sitting on the sideline. Put me in it. Come on, man. Come on. Well, it's, there's your time. I can't believe this. Sorry, mother. This son. I'm putting cases on each and every last one of you oh. motherfuckers. In my Denzel voice, nigga. My yeah. training day voice. This nigga done walked off on the motherfucking field on us, man. He's out, man. Same young niggas came out there, and guess what the play was? The play was called the center sneak. Now, now, for all my um, football players as, that's been listening to this Story. Yeah. I started in throw up tackle. Uh, I went all the way to sideline kill. She, she, I went all the way to the neighborhood football. Um, I went all the way to the neighborhood football. And uh, it's rules and plays that, that you learn in every one of those sports. Yeah. Sideline kill. And center sneak was one of them. What's a center sneak? Is what people are looking at me wanting. What? That means as long as the ball touched the quarterback hand, and come back to the center. That's called a center sneak. But he has to touch the quarterback hand. You have to go between the legs, the center gets the ball, he say, hut, he hit it on the quarterback hand, he take off one. That's called a center sneak. You hear me? It's fourth down. We done been stopped on every play. We can't go by them little young niggas. Let's go back to the street book. Let's try a center sneak. It's time to put a rabbit. We gotta come up with something. Well, who gonna get, cause all our running backs are gonna pop, stop, and everything. Fuck it. I do it. I, 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 I hike it. I hike that bitch. Give it to me. Fuck it. I feel it. Last play of the game. We at the 30 yard line. We got about 30 more yards to go. Yeah. 
Everybody waiting on the quarterback. He gets up close on the height. We got the two dummies in the back for the, you no, know, like they finna get hit at the ball. My niggas done went outside, but all they niggas know is to come in and block. Set, hut, hut, hut. No, be patient. Oh, touchdown. The what game is over, goddammit. What? What? They standing down and still looking at the line like, what is he doing? That's it. And they like, no, game over. We high five. We telling them niggas that, no, nah, man, what? Come on, what was that? It's called a center sneak. It's game. Touchdown. Now, what, 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 what did they say? Y'all niggas, young niggas, you need to learn them old plays out the book sometime, nigga. The game is over, nigga. Over. Save. The old nigga, and I got the picture with me holding the ball like this. I'm going to have to get that picture to Diamond, man. I'm holding the ball yeah. like this in the middle with all the little young niggas standing behind me. Got a big crowd. Corey, Mike, Mike. Hold on, hold on. I know y'all going to watch this game. You call me DP, I say tell him. And I'm standing in the middle with all my boys. But that play won the game, and everybody went home to eat Thanksgiving. Yeah. Tales from a crib, nigga. But, oh, we ain't through yet. Hold on. i never forget it. I tried to set up a game a year after that, that same year, and all the old niggas, I'm have to tell y'all the truth, declined and reneged them. <laughs> they said that was it. They ain't got another game in them. Young, I'm not gonna lie, young niggas. I'm not gonna even motherfucking lie. Out of all the football I done played in my life, all the football, all the hitting and banging and, and popping and shit. Nigga, that's my first time it took me a week to heal up. That's can't do with the age. I mean, I never felt that shit. Yeah, the age. I never felt, I didn't know what the, and some of them niggas said they couldn't go through another nigga. Hell no, nah, them niggas, young niggas. Yeah, them young niggas was hidden. <laughs> them young niggas was hidden. Them young niggas wasn't spraying. No. Nigga, fuck y'all old niggas. That what we were. Them niggas shooting us like, like we the, the, the dummy bags on the motherfucking football practice field. Boom. Jack, that's <laughs> Damn. That's no wonder you got the cottage shirt on. Yeah. And have you niggas here for the summer. Look at her. And the cold thing, we caught them niggas there for college break to come home for the college Thanksgiving. And they all came to play. Yeah. To support the young niggas. The little John squad. Yeah. Yeah, y'all know we playing first. What? Oh, we finna. And they came like they were just finna get on. And we came like, oh, we finna run over these young niggas. Yeah. And it turned out to be the hell of a game. But. My partner Shaw, I'm not, shout out to Shaw, OG Shaw, that's my top boy over there now. You understand me? R.I.P. the Big Quinn, man, he was my first top boy. And then Little Cut, that was my second top boy. Uh, OG Shaw, that's my third top boy. You understand me? Yeah, and I'm the first top boy, goddamn me. OG shit on the block. Big Quinn was the OG because he looked out for the OBGs. He watched that young squad of niggas come up. Little Cut, he, he, he watched over the, the, the squad, the little troubles and all the other niggas, Truzzles and all them, they came up under him. And goddamn me, Shaw, he the top boy. He got the whole clique now, goddamn me. He, he look out, he, he the G on the block. Corey, um, I rap Pete, Little Larry, that's his squad. But, um, yeah, they didn't want to play no more, so I teamed up with Shaw. I say, he say, person, put together a game. Put together a game, we'll play. So I, I called out Butler Housing again. You know, if y'all want a tough game, nigga, let's play Butler Housing one more time, nigga. With that, the south side, I'm playing with the east side. So where we gonna meet up? We gonna meet up at Polly. Polly got that, Polly got that good grass and, and they rebuild the stadium, nigga, let's have it, let's do it. Yeah. So I called out the Butler Housing. Eastwood versus the south side. That really was the call out. Whoever from the south side showed up at Polly, on for the, for the next turkey bowl, goddamn me, and I'm not gonna lie. When I came to Polly, I'm not gonna be. I'm a, I was amazed. When I put up on the field, yeah, we put up on the other side. So by the time we walked around the corner, I, I didn't believe how many cars I seen after. Yeah, Southside was in the motherfucking building, man. <laughs> Southside was in the motherfucking building. Yes, they were, and we blow they motherfucking wig back. We blowed that weed back so fast we won a 10 by points. That we ended up taking another game with some niggas in party that patched up to play us. But Southside, when, when Lil John came, whew, I told you, I knew them boys were stars. When they played us, I knew they was cold. I, I, knew, I knew these boys, in the, in the, the squad that I seen show up was, wasn't no different from the ones that played us at Dunbar. Yeah. 
and, and, and a couple of more better hands. Yeah. And I, I, I um, after that first two plays, playing the south side, uh, these niggas ain't these niggas ain't in shape. These niggas ain't built for this. You, oh, you niggas on that south side shit. We said bring your athletes, niggas. You niggas came as you are. <laughs> that wasn't going to work with these athletes we fucking with off the block. And, and we ran over them niggas over there. We <laughs> ran fast. Look, we ran over them niggas. Wasn't even an hour game. We smashed them. And then one nigga had like he wanted to get personal on the court. And, and little John, you know, y'all seen me conduct myself. He know who he was. We ain't going to put you on blast. Yeah. Yeah, but I asked him, did he want to do something different? Because he keep acting like he wants to do something different besides play football. So I said, hold on, hold on. I'm not, hold on. Hold that ball, hold that ball. Hold that ball. Do you want to do something different? Yeah. You want to do, because you acting like you want some more shit. You trying to do something different. We, if you want to do something different, let's go and do it now. And he didn't want to do nothing different right then. Yeah. So let's play football. We're not going to have to go to the cars and to the parking lot. And get, no. Let's finish. Danny made you mad enough to come on, do some hitting. Nigga, if I get the ball, let's go. And we crunk, turned it up a notch. And we played football for the rest of that day till like 12, 30, and on. Little John went home undefeated. I'm saying that to say this. The last time I checked in hood football, Little John is undefeated, nigga. We the truth. Yeah. So anybody out there that got a squad, you know, that want to handle your difficulties, want to come to Little John, or want to take us down in a, in a game, we still ready. I might not. I'm coaching. But you might catch me out there quarterbacking or touching the round or touching the pig skin once or twice. Yeah, but other than that, the last time I checked in hood football, it was Little John Crip Gang, nigga. We the best. Bars, nigga. Diamond Stone TV, nigga. That's how we rock. <laughs>